Today I'm going to show you how to replace the hot rod which heats your pellets in the burn cup of your Woodwind Pro. Before we start working on it, make sure that your pellet grill is unplugged, but let's jump into it. First thing we need to do is to open the lid and take out everything inside. With everything removed out of the inside, now we need to pull out the smoke box and undo the screws for the heat plate. Now with the screws out, you can pull your heat plate up and out. After your smoke box assembly is removed, you can undo the set screw on the bottom of the handle and remove the handle. To take off the butterfly valve by loosening the nuts on both ends of the rod. Now we're able to undo the four screws on the burn cup. Now we need to undo the hopper plate screws on the bottom so that we can unplug the hot rod from the controller. Now you can disconnect the cable labeled A from the controller. This is the cable that runs to the hot rod. Now you can pull the burner cup up and out, but don't pull it all the way out because I will show you a trick that will help you. You can snip it right here um, because this will help us save time when we are feeding the new hot rod down the auger. So now we can put our new hot rod in, um, but before we do that, we need to undo the screw on the burn cup to release our old hot rod. And you can just throw this away and feed it through just to about a quarter inch and then you can secure the screw back on the side. Now you can take your new hot rod connector and you still have these old lines that we cut. Tie a very good strong knot. Once you have a little knot tied, um, just for extra security, grab some tape and make sure that this does not come apart. Once you have tied it together and you put tape around it, be sure to pull on both ends to make sure that's not gonna come undone. And then you can feed the new connector through your auger, go to the hopper side and find your old connector and pull it all the way through. Your new connector should come out just like that. Once it is unplugged and untied, you can plug it into connector A to make sure that it works right. Okay, now we can put the screws back in our burn cup to secure that. Then from here on out, you can repeat the same steps we used to Take everything else off, but in reverse order. I hope this video has been helpful for you in replacing the hot rod on your Woodwind Pro. If you have any additional questions, please visit campchef.com or call our customer support helpline. Thank you.